in between to show that there are lights and things like that. Although it's all black there. Lah. Just drawing some lines here because the blocks actually has so a bit of indent there. Okay, another four windows there. No, oh, three. Sometimes I just do this. Okay, and then dilute it a bit with the side of the brush, not the tip, side of the brush, go down like this. Sometimes if you the shape is not right, just okay, just clean it up a bit. And those you can see that when I painted the the palm leaf, try to paint around it as much as possible. Okay. Is it looking? Okay, there's a dark patch over here. Okay, there's a square thing over here. Lah. We're talking about it, lah. Right, next thing is the roof. Huh? How to make it look more realistic with a bit of you know the roof is this this texture uh, texture right of the tiles so do you go and draw all the tiles it will take you till 4 30 maybe <laughs> okay how to give you the impression that there's there's a there's a towel there so use a small brush this will do mix a bit of the same color but darker shade so I have a bit of brown here so I mix on it so it's darker now. Okay. Now look at the. <coughs> Actually, it's moving this the, the, the this way, right? That's how they're piling it this way. Okay. So go one, two, maybe a bit darker. One, two, and not too big, huh? And because they're going this way, right? The next tile on top should be here. And that's all. Don't touch anymore. Don't add anymore at the back. Another fill here. Okay. Don't need to fill up the whole. No. Don't fill up. Once you fill up, it looks very, very rigid. A few here like this. You skip a bit here, and then continue here. But it has to be moving this way to look convincing. Okay. That's all. You don't have to fill up everything here. That's why I leave a bit of white here. It can be the tiles as well. Okay. Fill here. Okay. And because these are at the side, so I'm just a few to give a suggestion will do. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> I have to erase this pencil marks. I'm not sure if it can be erased because I don't want the pencil marks here. Okay, there's a white grill over here. Okay, you can either use white paint and draw the grill here, or change the color. And use a bit of blue here. This is uh, turquoise. Okay, it's actually a little bit turquoise as well, right? A bit grayish, not white, huh? The building looks more or less there. I'm a bit sing it now because I was sitting. This way. It's okay now because of this.
Yeah, I have to color it in a while. Okay, now I go back to the, the leaves. I leave it just now with the first color. Okay, and I know a lot of people, including my students, try to paint each and every single coconut uh, leaves. <laughs> every single coconut, all the leaves. Okay, don't do that. Huh? Okay, just an impression of it. Just now when I painted this, I already do these drops, right? So now I have a darker ones at the top there. Okay? Is there a coconut? Uh, there is, alright. So, just an indication that there is a bit here. Sometimes blur it a bit. Whenever you have two trees standing side by side, huh, try to make one a bit more clearer than the other. This one, I'll just blur it a bit, just to see, you can, can tell the shape you do. Okay, make this one a bit more, um, you know, more detailed to it, so that you you differentiate them. shadows now so you can edit before doing all this detail uh, because I just want to make sure all the details are in before so that you can see those first um, <coughs> uh, imagine the sun is coming from this side so that this side of the wall is darker so if there's shadow it will go like this right more or less 90% completed. Sometimes you just need to sit back and, or, or stand back and see if there's any place that you want to you know, add some darks, make it more contrast and things like that. So I feel that this is a bit too light here, so give it a bit more darks on here. Okay. Okay. 
small line here like this one, like a fine line. <laughs> okay, this wall here, I'm a little bit white just now, but now I find that it's actually darker. Okay, so I'm just gonna block it off dark colors. Okay. okay, you can see there's a bit of uh, white spots there, which I miss. If things like this happen, don't try to go back and fill up uh, green, because it's still a bit bad here. If you fill up the green colour here, it will smudge. Uh. So what I'm going to do is turn this into rock. Okay. <laughs> so that's, uh, okay. Keep a bit of white at the top part as highlight. Okay, now it looks like a garden. So they say artists have this thing called artistic license, so use it to your advantage. <laughs> a bit more dark at the bottom, touch so that there's a bit of shadow. Okay. And if you want uh, some grass, There's this what um Hong Kong or whatever. But I'm not gonna paint the Long Kang as it is uh. Even know what Long Kang is, huh? No. Singaporean here, right? <laughs> drain. Okay, the drain. Um, so I just have a line of this. Nobody know what it is. <coughs> nice 4 o'clock now it's, it's just touching up now it's, this is like the, the, the final cosmetic to make you look prettier <laughs> so areas that it's not dark enough you can fill it in now I don't, don't pen them uh, you know, purposely, I'm just wriggling my wrist and it will pen itself. <laughs> okay, so this is like some gross. So you see, when I, hold, when I do this, I hold my brushes almost at the end here. And I have less control of it and let nature do its course. If you hold like this, then you will tend to draw, do all the nitty gritty detail. Yeah? Okay. Um, the areas need a bit more dark. This is where you do it. See, it's almost like very dry. I don't even get much water. Notice that there's no figures here. Okay, no one's in, in school school holiday now. <laughs> okay, I think it's more or less done. Okay, so just a quick impressionistic uh, view of the painting on the subject. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can go back and grab your stuff, and you can you can paint these things or any. Other.